we will not sit back in the name of Jesus. We will not sit back and allow the injustices to go forth, God. And we ask that you keep your arms about us, Lord. Keep us in your eyes. The reason that we're doing this march, the catalyst for it, is for a young man that was incarcerated unjustly. This is his family here. And we wanted to put it out there so that everyone is aware that we will not stop until he's free, until his name is clear, because he's clearly incarcerated for something that he did not do. Necesitamos justice, necesitamos righteousness, necesitamos freedom. Porque es muy importante en los Estados Unidos. You see, I'm a believer that if we don't unite and begin to make things happen together, he does it by showing it, by doing it. You all know Ramon Ramirez, the president of Pecun. This is right here with us. This is here where Ramon has to say, Se puede, compañeros? Se puede? Can we do it together? Uh, if we were to create change, that we have to create unity and that we have to take on the hard issues. We gotta leave our personal or our organizational pride aside and you know come uh, together for the bigger fight right for the unity of working people of poor people of people of color because we were the farm workers in 1935 black folk, black folk. Black folk. right and uh, for opio that said that brought that brought it home to that brother right he says that's right you know we got a built unity because this is our country this is our country too we pay for it with our blood and sweat. Se puede! Se puede! Si se puede. So, on behalf of uh, the Farm Worker Union, brothers and sisters, the Coon, you know, we stand here not only in solidarity with you, you know, but anytime you need anything from us, we're there in support because, you know, we might be two organizations, Pecun and NAACP, but we're one struggle. Se puede! I done heard a lot of perceptions of what life is. Retired police officers attacking our beautiful babies that look like the ones in the front row. Are you fired up? We're here because we're tired. We're sick and tired of young, innocent black men being passed away in the prisons for a profit. Thanks to Daryl Sanders, they ignited my passion to go out and start advocating doing what needs to be done. Some body shape like what I can found in the and he did something. He brought them more and more evidence they did not want to hear. It was a political thing. For the DA, she knows that you're old. She has all the facts and everything in front of her. That was going to make her look too bad. Because she's already said that this man is guilty. For her to turn around and say that he's not guilty, no more. No, not her making a mistake, but she has made a mistake. I'm for justice, I'm for the safety of our people. I believe if you commit a crime, you should come to jail. People have to like in jail who didn't commit a crime. That's not fair. I want some justice because they don't work and think that they're going to keep my son in prison for six and a half years and I will not let them, I will not leave for it I will not stop fighting until my son walks out there and free and innocent. They already know he's innocent. Where does this young man go from here? Is he just going to get great speeches all of his life and do something for him? Are we really gonna make a difference? We're gonna make a difference. This could be your child. This could be your child. I mean, your brother, your sister. Life is something that's short, but it can go far. Life is living for something like